Hello everyone, welcome back to Out Who's Playing Minecraft Stone Block 2. Now, if anybody's been watching the uh, long streamy things that I've been uploading, you may have already seen the one which is three hours long, but you'll have noticed that I've gone and done a lot, a lot of mining, and in this chest I have put in a whole bunch of stuff, which anybody familiar with this sort of mod pack will realise is designed, is intended for, the uh, ME system from, from, from Applied Energistics. Let's have a look at this, Applied Energistics. Anybody who is familiar with this sort of mod palette has probably been shouting at the screen and at me, but not in a way that I can hear you, to tell me to just suck it up and make an ME system. And here's a whole bunch of bookmark things that are going to allow us to do just that. Now, if you don't know the mod pack, the ME system from Applied Energistics is a way of uh, storing and also crafting items. Basically, it's a huge high tech way of, uh, we'll see what it really does as we get into it, but it's going to make all of this so much easier because we're going to have an interface, a single block or several blocks is going to be a cable network and we're going to be able to right click on a screen and go give me the things that I want so I don't have to hunt around in all these stacks for all the stuff I'm doing, much as we like to play the librarian. We don't want to do that anymore, we want to get on with the game. So. The first thing we're going to need to do now the pesky thing is i made this and if you have, <laughs> in here here's all my bookmarks if i open this it replaces my bookmarks with with the hiding thing so i don't know if there's a way of hiding this oh, there's not enough space to display bookmarks here but i also can't do it so we'll go through this way if we have a look here this is the first thing i believe that we're going to need which is an me controller which is essentially it's just a, a computer type block this is going to allow everything that we need to work to work but you notice that already we've got a very complex crafting recipe we need pure fluix crystals which is a fluix seed uh, uh well that says in glowstone dust in the phytogenic insulator you can basically grow them in the phytogenic insulator which we don't have yet but drop it into water so we can start making pure fluix crystals pretty quickly but there's other things that we're going to need for example a sky stone block there's no sky stone in stone block i guess somewhat ironically but also somewhat expectedly because although there is a lot of stone there is no sky uh, and sky stone block is a cooked up sky stone and sky stone is if you drop a lava bucket and some sky stone dust into a stone barrel which we have get some sky stone and we of course have plenty of sky stone dust in our inventory which I just pulled out of the stacks just now. So, why have I got my witch water bucket? I think off camera, or rather in our sort of off camera, on camera recording episode, I went trying to get some more wither skeletons. There's probably some things spawning over there. We'll deal with that another time. We want to get AE up and running. So if we get, oh, lava's downstairs now. Everything's moved. Long time ago, and I should be able to remember it, but everything's moved. Uh, not the crucible, but we can use this. It's going to be a little bit tedious because these are so far away from one another. We could probably get away with doing this a little bit differently. Um, is this a portable tank? Yes. Let's do that then. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Pick up our wrench, which I've been putting away quite often because I don't really need it mining. I've been trying to keep my mining inventory clean and also, whilst mining, this... So it kept getting full up, uh, which is probably because there was no room in here for all the stuff that I had that I was mining and uh, I didn't want to sort of deal with. So th that's one of the things we're going to want to solve with this ME system. So if we pick up this portable tank full of lava, give me, I have it. <laughs> Please may I have my tank. Give me my flipping tank. There we go, lying on the floor. I come undone. Uh, we don't have to. Uh, Probably can actually. I say, where is it? Right there. Pay some attention. If you uh, this is not ender tank. Oh, does that work? Yes. Okay. Cool. So if we just keep doing this. Oh, I think we only need four for now, but we'll come back to that. It's got plenty of lava in the tank, which is really helpful. Uh, and then we go and find our redstone furnace because I put everything downstairs. Um, the idea of this downstairs area is for automation, but for now, unfortunately, it's the only place we've got to do anything. Uh, so we're going to be doing this a little while until we can manage another room where we can have... Uh, what I want is really manual machines in one place and the automated machines down there. But, you know, one step at a time, we are getting on with 
uh, Emmy. So we need to make this pure fluix crystal, which is going to take a few minutes. So I will let it mature off camera while I do a couple of other things. But we drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand into a puddle of water. So a fluix seed we can see here is literally just fluix dust and red sand. Did I pick up the fluix dust? Pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, is it here? This is why we need this system because I don't know what I'm looking at half the time. Where is fluid stuff? Did I have any? Maybe we need to make it. We make it. I think we can make it. Yes, it may involve grinding up the uh, fluid crystals. Ah, only the crystals. We do have some of those, luckily. But I think you can make those as well. So we don't need to worry too much. I'm only going to make a couple of seeds to start with. I don't want to use up all of my fluids crystals because although we got those from a, a quest reward, I don't want to go through to the effort of making any more. <laughs> Quite honestly, it seems like we've got a lot of certain quartz dust. I oh, will make eight. Actually, oh, let's make four. Let's make four. Two. Three. Four. We should have some sand somewhere. Probably upstairs. The nice thing that's going to be here is that we're going to have lots of cables all over the place. And the cables are going to be electronic cables, much like this, where you can't see the items transferring. Ah, that's where the sand is. Yeah. Give this, please. Oh. Whatever. Why? What? That's weird. <laughs> don't do that. It's a strange game. Uh, I don't need sand in my office. food. Great. So, uh, sand and fluix just makes... Oh, you get two each. So that's actually perfect. And that can stay there. And then we will have a puddle of water. I might as well just put right here. For now, because they won't be despawned. You don't have to stand near them or really wait for anything. They will just eventually sort of happen. Oh, I don't need all those buckets. Go and get some water. Where do get water from? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, I know somewhere I have a sink. I did. Perfect. So let's drop these in here. Right. Whilst that's happening, what else do we need to make? So we're going to need to make a lot of these glass cables. And also, yes, quartz fiber cable is necessary first. So quartz fiber is glass and so does quartz dust, which is why I just pulled this out of here. And there's the glass. In fact, we've got mm, all the stuff ready. So uh, glass fiber, glass cable. I, because, all right, this one. Quartz fiber. So we can make a bunch of this. I will make as much as I can, even though it may not be the best use of resources at this point. Um, I, I want to make sure that I've got absolutely everything we could possibly get. So that we don't run out halfway through, because you know I'm like trying to make something simple. And um, then I don't have any materials left, and I don't have enough cables, and it's all a pain in the bottom. Uh, so we're going to need that. We're going to need this. We're going to need this. So the cables are for basically transferring items that as data. That's how that's going to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a storage bus. And what a storage bus does is it allows something that isn't part of the ME network to act as the ME network like this. So I'm going to tell the ME network that our draw controller contains items and should be used to store items because the alternative is to literally use a disk drive, which is on my list, but I think we can get away with not making it for now. Mostly because I don't want to go to that much effort. <laughs> it's all the same to you. Uh, so we need to figure out all these processes, which I've got a list of here. But the key thing for the processes is the inscriber, which is another fluid crystal, two sticky pistons, which I don't yet have the materials entirely for because we need slime. Uh, let's get some of that. And that. Is there slime in here? The slime might be... Uh, we might be able to just use the slime from six. That's probably enough. Also, there's probably some over there. I've not yet figured out what's wrong with this. Uh, but you do notice that occasionally it sort of fixes itself. I, I, whatever. Could be more slime. Was there slime? Is this dropping slime? Is there slime here? Slime here? Uh, not really very much. I think we can make... We can use the rice if we really need it. Let's get this over here. Uh, two sticky pistons, if you don't very much mind. Sicky pistons. I would probably be mildly sickly. Uh, I am. 
Iron's going to feature a lot, so we should get a whole bunch. I did find a lot of materials whilst mining, and you can go and have a look if you want to at the long, long video in which I, I make that. It's silent video, so you can watch it in the background, by all means. Uh, what? No. But uh, if you have a look at that, you will see quite how many resources I picked up whilst mining, which literally it's three hours of me just going into the mining dimension and mining. And halfway through it, I realized that I actually created a teleport pad so I can get there easily and went, oh, wait a minute. I didn't use it all that time. There's a few mistakes in that video, but in my defense, I am watching Star Trek at the same time. So just leave me alone. Uh, inscriber. Inscribe. I do need a new keyboard. I keep complaining about it. No one ever brings you one. Perfect. Computer literate. There's going to be quests for this, by the way. Let's have a look. Uh, in here. Interesting. Hey, we've got an unclaimed. Look at that. Simple sack mill. That's all right. Don't mind that. Uh, storage. This is where the ME stuff is going to be. So we're going to start with an inscriber. Like, this is basically pushing us through the. Um, is pushing us this quest line here is the things that i have already set up in jei as bookmarks so we're going to get there eventually also i never claim these let's do it on camera we haven't claimed rewards on camera for a while another simple sag mill phantom faces are amazing that's extraordinary thank you very much we win a generator which could be good for us we might want to uh, improve our spawner changes we might want to improve our power generation in, in very specific situations. Uh, but kind of not here. <laughs> Just now. We might need to increase the size of this as well. Uh, because now I've got all this crap and I don't want it. We could put another cloche down. Increase nearby spawns when lit. Oh, oh. Pick stuff up. I need to do that. Get in there. Uh... I'm just going to double check. Pure fluid crystal. It does say. Just drop it into a puddle of water. So that's going to take a while, unfortunately. You can see the bubbles happening. But the trick is not to accidentally fall in the water and pick it up. Or I may restart the process. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Real quickly. Yeah, you have to aim at the thing. You can't just point at it. Don't just jump. Get this. Well. Go down here. Pop this open. Uh, try not to let this baby skeleton. There we go. I would like all the things in here to be which watered. Turn this on. That was a big noise. I apologize for anyone trying to fall asleep or otherwise relax. Uh, that did not go to plan. And then maybe we got. Hoping for a. Uh, you know, the curse earth thingy. It was not to be, but we could probably put this candle down. Somewhere. I think if we put it outside, that's probably the best thing. And then I don't know how to light it. Presumably a flint and steel, which I didn't bring with me. See if we got one. Handy. We, we made one because we thought we could go to the nether, but then we couldn't go to the nether. Bit of a side... Bit sort of a side... Uh, side thingy. Okay. Why pay attention to one thing at a time? That worked. This should increase spawns. Which kind of does the witch water thing for us, the, the cursed earth thing for us, without me having to do cursed earth, which is pretty okay. I do believe, in fact, by the way, crate. A storage crate. Uh, this is from actually additions. Then upgrade your crate. Small to medium storage crate upgrade which is a medium storage crate and some planks, which I think we can manage if we just have wood. Uh, nope, I can do that. This bit I want. So four chests, please. Nope, just a chest, please. Four chests, please. Do this one. Right, empty that. Make, make this. Go, what is this? Wood casing. Good heavens. <laughs> How many different parts of wood can you possibly use to make one thingy? All right. Uh, this, 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 this. Why are you not on here? That's the chest. That's the thing. This, this, this. Actual piece of wood. Come on, brain. 
we're trying to do well today. We've been we've been doing so well in our real lives right now that I, honestly, there is no reason for me to be this flighty and and weird about how difficult life is in Minecraft. So, brain, get it together. Is gonna move this. This, which is even more. The heck is this? Void crystal. Excuse me. Medium storage crate requires a void crystal block. Okay, in that case, heck you. I'm just going to put this one down. <laughs> Dump even more stuff in it. Because uh, I don't need this stuff. I'm only putting it in here temporarily anyway. So, get rid of it. Double click on this. Get rid of all our stuff. And then we can continue with where we were. How are you doing? Bubbling, but not really getting much bigger. They'll get bigger eventually. I'll do that off camera. Well, I won't do it off camera, but they'll, it'll probably be off camera when they get done, is the thing. Um, this needs power. The pesky thing about that is I can't be bothered making anything with power right now. I think what we might just simply do, plonk it down. I'll basically move all this later. I'm thinking. Of this generator here. You need power, right? Maybe? Yes, it says 0 AE out of 1.6 kilo AE. There's a generator. So let's put some coal in it. I've got a massive amount of coal. So much coal that I had to upgrade this. Oh, I got so much cobble that I upgraded this though. Void upgrade. Upgraded something. You know, I had a lot of something and it was great. <laughs> Go and watch the video, you'll see. So this should be getting AE. Right. So what we need to do is make the various things that we use to inscribe other things. So there's an inscriber, silicon press, logic press, calculation press, and engineering press. And really these are just bits of thing. Um, you can... This is a way of doing it, right? But You can use an inscriber silicon press to make another one out of a block of iron. So you can duplicate it for your friends or something, or you can just make a whole, whole bunch more inscribers. Uh, that do the same thing if you really want to. But this is just going to be a block of invar and some silicon in an induction smelter, which is easy peasy. We have... Did I bring that? I did actually bring that. Let's make a block of invar. Do, do, do. Easy. And then let's go downstairs. This is, again, where we need a dedicated area for, you know, the, the manual use of these. And then uh, a proper area for the rest of it. That's nice and great. There's one. The next one we need, that was that. A logic press is going to be block of invar and gold. Oh, these are all going to be a block of invar. Calculation press is certus quartz and in, oh, it's just a diamond. Right, so we need gold, certus quartz and diamond and then way more invar than we have. Invar is luckily easy to make. Uh, I think that was all of my invar, by the way. Cool. Yes. So we want one piece of gold. One diamond, and we've got plenty of... Oh, I've got all the diamonds over here anyway. Diamond... Uh, nope. We've got 32 diamonds, which is kind of the whole point of me going in the first place. Uh, and then Invar, in an induction smelter, is one nickel and two iron, which is probably why Ickle and iron are next to each other. Let's just get a stack of each. Go downstairs. Did we bring a piece of search squad, please? Uh, this one? There should really be a crafting table down there as well. Put my wood away, so one, two, three, four, and then four, and that, because we like this one. And let's go downstairs. So this will be lag. Yeah, that's right. The music died, but it was just... Don't worry about it. I haven't restarted my computer since I actually did that huge recording. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Let's put down here. And then I had a nickel in Invar. You need to be a lot faster, so we've got plenty of time in my time in a bowl. So why the heck not? This bunk. go. That's perfect. And you can do eh. diamond, gold. And surface quartz, ta-da! I might as well put you back in here since you pick out surface Thank you for all the quests, but we will look at them later. 
Right, perfect. So what we do now is we have a look, we put this in here, for example. And in order to make the various actual chips, so oh, here's how it goes. We make one of these requires one of these engineering process. So the engineering process requires an engineering circuit. The engineering circuit is a crushed diamond with the engineering press, right? So let's start with that since it's probably the thing. That's this one. Then we take a diamond, bring all the diamonds, put one in here, boom. And then you eventually, that's quite quick. So we don't need to worry about off camera work here. That's one of those. Then in the same inscriber, I believe we then can make the, that's what we just picked up. So we need an engine, which is that printed silicon. Printed silicon is a silicon press and then some silicon. So then we take the silicon press. You can see how this is an involved process. But if you had multiple inscribers, you could put one of each of these in the inscriber and then just chuck the thing you want in that inscriber and it will output the thing that you need. But then we are going to take the engineering circuit, some redstone and the printed silicon that we just made, which might be able to shift click into it. Let's try it. Oh, we can't. Uh, so this, this, and this will create a little bit more slowly. Da, 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 da. An engineering processor, perfect, which is going to allow us to create an ME processor. ME processor, processor. No, ME. Now you can have multiple ME controllers, which is great because we're going to need them. We also need this stuff to grow, and it is not. That is a very slow process, and that is known. So don't worry about that, because the other thing that it says, if we have a look here, is that the fluid seed, oops, uh, to make the process, process faster as crystal growth accelerators, which we can do. Crystal growth accelerator is, there's a chamber as well. This is an inventory and you bung stuff into it, but look how much it costs, right? Um, but if you put your seeds into that, it will grow them without you needing a pool of water on the floor. This one is a Fluix block, which is oh, actually only eight of those or four of those. What is, why is why is it that expensive? I don't whatever. You might even have some of those uh, glass and then these cables that we already made, or at least we made the first part of. So let's just make a couple of those. Do, do. That's eight. That's fine. We need some more of these. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Do we have a recipe for those? Charge now the core. Right, so that's how you. That's a bit quicker. So we can probably do that. We have plenty of charge nether court, so at least we can make more of these. Easily and on camera without me boring everybody to death. It's already been 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't believe how much time goes by. Uh, what were we making? This. So we wanted this one. Thank you. Uh, charge nether, charge certus quartz, nether quartz, and redstone dust. Redstone dust is just redstone. It's just a play in it. Uh, charge certus quartz. And nether quartz, which we actually got a lot of thanks to, I think, Thorncraft? Something somewhere produces a lot of nether quartz in not the nether. So, this should, ah, floats. Really? Nice. So there's one more of those. Two more. It's even better. So there is a block of that. We can add more of these nearby the thingy, but... Um, that was quartz glass. Was that only quartz glass? Yes. It is quartz and glass. So we don't have enough glass. Not enough glass at all. That was all our glass. Give me a stack of this, even though I've already got a stack. No, I didn't. I put it away. Smart me. Uh, putting stuff away is smart, and then wishing that you had it is less smart. A bit backwards and forwards in that respect. Uh, let's cook this fast. How much time do I have in my time in a bottle? You're outputting into the inventory. I, I like that, but also I don't. 14 hours. We don't know. There's no need to worry about that. I'll just let that go. <laughs> Do what you want. So here's another, like, all this stuff is going to be solved very, very quickly in the next couple of episodes whilst we do exactly this. Because... Oh, that's a, that made a lot. Um, the whole goal of what we're doing right now is to achieve automation of a lot of this and ease of access of all the rest of it 
uh, when we're running around, messing around. So, one of these, please. Go up so far. I think the goal here is all we need to do. You're moving around, I can see that. Uh, I will fill this in just in case. And I think we can literally just do this. Put that there. You just stop. <laughs> Why have I got so many? Buy us offline. Ah, uh, you need AE. You need. Do you need? Um. Power. Might need power. I mean, I can put you over there. Have another one of those. I'll get to this. There we go. Furnace mm. generator? No? Hmm. Not oh, item duct. Uh, let's. Might be able to just do this temporarily. I need to know if this. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I can let these grow naturally over time. Anyway, uh, and go off camera. All we can do. Look, it's nearly the end of the episode anyway, so I might as well make as much of this as we can. In between episodes, I will let those grow. And then after the episode, um, after the episode, start of the next episode, we should have enough stuff that we can continue with creating the ME network, which very, very soon is going to make our lives a whole lot easier. Than they've ever been so uh what's next we wanted to make the storage bus the storage bus is an interface the interface is formation core the formation core is a logic processor which is a printed logic circuit which is gold in the logic press easy peasy let's go and get some gold because we're going to need a bunch of these we're also going to need a uh, annihilation core which is another logic processor so don't worry about that going to be plenty of logic processors in our future. So we want our logic press. Do, do, do. One. That goes in there. Uh, which needed a printed logic circuit, which is, yeah, that's the goal. So this is where the goal goes. One. Make like eight, six. We're going to do one at a time. This is another, uh, another way that the game is trying to be clever and, and limit the early game use of me is to make you do these things manually and on camera thank you very much uh meanwhile we are basically producing the groundwork for not having to do this ever again but early game and early on you do have to do it manually once or twice so we're gonna have to suck it up i guess so we need printed silicon again which is going to be the silicon press again uh and then press silicon obviously where is it? Where is my silicon? Down there. It wasn't in the right place, so I wasn't really looking. Uh, it won't let you shift click it in if it's not a correct recipe. So, a couple more of these, and then some redstone while that cooks. I hope the sound's okay, because I've moved my microphone. Mostly because it was annoying me when I kept hitting it trying to type. Uh, so, I, I hope that it's not. Weirdly echoey and awful. If it is, apologies. Um, I think you can hear me above the sound. <laughs> I'm looking at my uh, levels and it looks like I'm reaching the level I expected to in volume, but I'm averaging a little bit less than I expect to, I guess. So hopefully everything's okay. And then we are going to put together this, which is uh, this, this, and this one at a flipping time, of course. Let's accelerate this. Can we accelerate this? This, this, this. Please, there we go. I'm going to move these around so that we can shift click the thing we actually want. This. What time? If you go too fast, you end up not being able to keep up with the amount of power that it's using. That's three. Oh, right, yeah, cool. Uh, that's full. So we're going to have enough now to create our annihilation course, of which we're going to need two. We need more fluids. Dust. Fluix dust. Dust, darling. Dust. Uh, annihilation core. Dust. It's going to be a grounded 
crystal, which is oh heck. I'm gonna be chucking more stuff into this pool, which I've deleted. <laughs> Bring me back my pool. Pool's closed. Water, please. I believe that was one of these. One of these and one of these. Just do a few. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Send back. Sorted. Yeah, plenty. Nice. I say plenty, that's eight. <laughs> eight may not be plenty in the long run, but again, that's something that we can automate the creation of. Because I believe there is another way of doing it. There isn't. No. <laughs> but we can make essence. There is uh, tier four um, seeds, which we haven't got to yet, but we can grow it. We saw this earlier, in case you were wondering. In the previous episode, we started looking at mystical agriculture, but we are not really in a position to do much more with it than start it right now. But we do have somewhere up there iron growing on a plant. Uh, what did we need for this? Was it just one? It was just one, so we don't need all of it. But, I mean, by the time I finish talking, it's finished, so I shall have all of it. But, let's, go. Right, let's continue where we were. We we're making an annihilation core, which is this. We do get two, which is actually really nice. And also a formation core. Yes, we can do those as well. And then we we're going to make an interface. ME inter. Now, the ME interface is something that is in and of itself a very useful block. But I don't have a use for it right now. So in a future episode, we'll see how these work in the real world. But right now, they're only going to be used to create our storage bus. Just this one, please. Storage bus. There go, which is piston, a sticky piston, and what we've already got. Uh, piston. Uh, piston. Can we make these? We need all our cobble. Cobblestone. We've got redstone. We've got iron. And then we just need goo. Where's my goo? Have any goo? This is why we need the ME system in the first place. We're going to have to have a look up, by the way, whether the Crystal Growth Accelerator requires something to be connected to it. It may be that you require the power to come from the AE system itself, the ME system itself, which means we have to start the thing before we can... Oh, do we? we have to... It's the end of the episode, but I'm going to keep going because it's been a while since I did anything. So uh, apologies for the general lackadaisical attitude making these episodes but back on the wagon a little bit now uh being able to play it offline and record it and have a whole like three hour episode <laughs> just for you uh one more please is helpful so uh, i only need one and create this now this is a storage bus what this is going to do in future is be here like that so now this is where the cable goes and this is the real world ta-da but I only did that to get it out of my inventory. That's probably not where it's going to live in future because once we've done that, we can remove all this cabling, use it for something else, and use the ME cabling to do that. What I did want to look at is a, a applied uh, acceptor. An energy acceptor we can make. Perfect. Let's do that. So this will allow the AE system to be powered by this generator that we made i'm going to replace this generator and this thingy with the actual power system we've got downstairs when i can be bothered creating that much lead this is going to be one of those situations where it sort of accelerates itself once you start doing the bits in the right order because when we've got this system up we can start auto processing the ores let me show you how many ores i got if you can't be bothered going watching a three hour video i actually extended this chest in order to fit all these ores in without actually having to process them and turn them into iron. Oh, I also made a so the slime balls here. Although these ones are bad luck apparently. Um, I don't <laughs> know why they're bad luck, but there you go. Um, this is going to be plugged into the main network, which is going to revolve all the lead, which is currently locked up in the ore over there. But the ore over there is going to be easily converted into lead once we've got the ME system running. So it's a little bit back and forthy there. But if we can get those glass cable those quartz cable uh probably this will be enough i think this quartz fiber here literally just carries power 
Okay. I'm wrong. Uh, but these will carry power. That's okay. Stop dropping the thing. Stop dropping roll. Oh, I. We need a little bit more of that. Um, let me cable. Oh, give me keyboard. Uh, Glass cable, which is more of this. Fine. At least it's more of that and not some function of that. Uh, that's still in here. Tiny stuff, redstone stuff, and that stuff. Three, one. Three. Give me my stuff. All done. Right, let's turn that into that. Don't know how to get to this. We're going to make a bunch because we're going to need it. This plugs in? No. Well, at least we know. <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. Uh, I guess we're going to have to have a look. We'll do that off camera. Figure out how to grow these faster. They will grow eventually. So even if whilst I'm off camera, as long as those are growing, uh, we're all Gucci. So we're halfway there. Honestly, I think we're doing really well. I'm putting a lot more things in here than is actually associated with ME because I'm using them, basically. Um, do attach. You don't attach to that. So that should have been a clue, but it wasn't enough of a clue. Uh, anyway, that's how we're going to power our system. Maybe. Until the next episode, thank you for watching. I hope that you're learning. I hope that you're enjoying this. And I hope that when we get to the end of the next episode, we will have something a little bit more interesting than a haphazard connection of a couple of blocks that don't really do anything and a long, long time to wait. But until then, again, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you will join me in the next episode. And until then, well, I'll see you.